Who wins in a fight? The smart guy or the crazy guy? The possibility of WeWork founder Adam Newman buying the bankrupt firm back has left netizens both amazed and amused. There literally doesn't seem to be a dull moment in Newman's entrepreneurial journey. Let's do a quick recap. He first shot to fame by turning WeWork into a cultural and business phenomenon. By 2019, WeWork was the most valuable US startup valued at a whopping $47 billion. It attracted blue chip investors like SoftBank, Benchmark and big Wall Street banks like JP Morgan Chase. The company saw extravagant splurging, big parties and a whole lot of questionable business decisions under the leadership of the charismatic entrepreneur who kept pushing the boundaries of ambition and resilience. This continued for a decade until it all came crashing down. In 2019, WeWork's IPO attempt failed with investors raising concerns about WeWork's losses and Newman's management style. Later that year, Newman was ousted from the firm he'd built. In 2021, WeWork's value plummeted to $10 billion. Then came the pandemic effects when people worked from home and had little demand for co-working spaces. In November 2023, crippled by a debt of billions of dollars and soaring losses, WeWork filed for bankruptcy protection. The story of WeWork's dramatic downfall left many shocked. And now, cutting back to the present, it seems picture abhi baki hai, because Newman himself is back in the game. I'm back, baby! <laughs> Newman wants to buy WeWork out of bankruptcy. He says he has Wall Street's backing and would like the company back. Newman's lawyers say he's partnering with hedge fund Third Point, though Third Point says that the conversations are still preliminary. So Newman has reportedly been trying to get the company back since December, the challenges he's facing are understandable. For one, he'll have to win over the current management and the creditors who've essentially lost billions due to his management style. For example, SoftBank which has lost over $16 billion in WeWork and its affiliated businesses. Newman is ready to slide WeWork some cash to help it pay its leases, legal fees and avoid liquidation. This would put Newman back in control of the company. And WeWork needs this cash because the big investors including SoftBank have agreed to take over only if the company manages to renegotiate the office leases, which they're trying to do but it's turning out expensive for them. Newman on the other hand may have the resources to help. His net worth is $1.7 billion. He has a stake in real estate company Flo, which raised $350 million from venture capitalists. At least some of Flo's residential properties are also in his name. So at a time when WeWork desperately needs cash, will they have to end up taking it from the man whose actions led to their downfall in the first place? The story is waiting to unfold. <laughs>